check my notes. My hair looks kind of weird, to be honest. This is your first time to... House One Music. Hi guys, welcome back to AfricanRising.com. My name is Ayak and this is my blog. If this is your first time visiting my blog, welcome back. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. I missed you. I did. I really did. Okay, now I'm just being extra. Anyway, thank you guys so much for all of your feedback on the skin series promo video. I think that, well, I know that I forgot to clarify that that was just a promo video. That was not what the skin series was. So the skin series is going to be a month long conversation about how to create um, a skincare red regimen, um, where to start. So I'm going to be talking about moisturizers, toners, masks, cleansers, moisturizers versus hydrators, all that good stuff. We're going to talk about it this month. And of course, I kicked it off. I kicked it off last week with my review on the Raya for You subscription. Well, it was the September uh, subscription box that was sent to me. Thank you so much, to Raya for You, for that. The company was founded by Raya Robinson, um, a DC, Maryland, Virginia area local um, entrepreneur and single mother who wanted to create products that were luxurious. Um, beneficial to the skin and definitely not watered down and filled with oils but also extremely affordable in addition to being a very affordable luxury bath and body company and being black owned and black run they are also very much involved in the community um, if you want more information on Raya for you if you're interested in buying their products um, definitely check the link below to um, read my review and also check out Raya for you site which I will be linking below today okay so today we're going to be talking about cleansers first and foremost before we move any further here are the basics of a success successful skin regimen in my opinion you need a cleanser you need a mask some people need masks not everyone but you definitely need a cleanser you need a toner and you need a moisturizer those three things no, we're not going to argue about it. You need you need those three things. The mask, you can kind of budge on. Also, here's a little disclaimer. I'm going to be talking about products that I use, that I like, and I'm going to, you know, throw in a little tips here and there. I'm not necessarily guaranteeing that it's going to work for your skin, but I am here to make strong recommend. recommend In case it wasn't already clear, this week we're going to be talking about cleansers. So, I'm going to be telling you guys what I use in the morning and what I use at night to cleanse my skin. So in the morning, I do use the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. Now, if you have sensitive skin, you might not want to use a scrub every single day. The good thing about this scrub, though, is that the beads are extremely small. Um, so they're not super irritating to the skin. I have combination normal skin, so like I'm somewhere in between dry and oily, but more so on the oily side, depending on the time of year. So this works for me. So at night, I have been using, I don't know if the light, the light's not going to let you guys see it. Oh no, you can't see it. Oh my god. I have been using the Garnier Skin Active, or Garnier, sorry. Garnier Skin Active um, Micellar Cleansing Water. I have been using it. I've been loving it, but I've branched out. I have finally gotten my hands on the Simple Micellar Cleansing Water, and I did it because Aunt Jackie, aka um, Jackie Aina, recommended it, and if she says use it, I'm going to use it. I'm going to try it out. So I've been using the Simple Micellar Cleanser Water and I've really been enjoying it. Um, I was using this every single night before I put on my night cream. 
Uh, one thing I really like about this is it's extremely deep cleansing, but not super harsh on the skin. Once again, if you have oily skin, I would stay away from this because this product, I don't know if you can see it. There's, there's like a separation. You can't really see it now, but I will try to put in a photo. I think it's settling in. It's oil-based. So if you have oily skin, I personally wouldn't recommend it. And the simple micellar cleansing water is, I don't want to say better, but definitely different because there are a lot of products and additives that are just not in there. If you have sensitive skin, definitely try the micellar water by simple. Also, if you don't feel like wasting cotton balls, you can use um, or you can purchase the simple micellar cleansing water wipes. The apricot scrub, I go into the shower, wet my face, and girl, I just, I just rub it in. That's really, it's really that simple. Now for the micellar water, like I said, I put in a cotton, well, I never said that, but I put it on a cotton ball and I rub it throughout my face. I also do use it um, when I wear makeup. Initially, I was using this uh, when I wore makeup and it was the only thing I was using to cleanse my skin with or to break down the makeup and it will leave this like white film basically my face would get so ashy but i would touch it and it would feel very oily so if you're looking for an all-in-one i don't think this is it i will tell you this to get off your lip products and your eye makeup or whatever you can you can go over your eyes or your lips like once or twice but using this on your skin to clean off your makeup it's just my skin was just super dry like completely how i recommend using it is using um a cleansing balm a wipe or something to get off majority of the makeup and then kind of using this to double check to make sure all the makeup is gone um i've used three masks throughout my skincare journey or figuring out what works for me. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard about the bentonite clay mask. You can find it on Amazon, it's very affordable. And that is one mask that based on the directions says you can use it every day. It's definitely um, deep cleaning and it also tones your skin. I do not recommend using a mask every day. Masks are supposed to detoxify your skin and they're supposed to deeply detoxify your skin. Now, if you're deeply detoxifying your skin, it's, it's, it's doing too much. It's getting too deep and it's going to dry your skin out. The Bentonite Clay Mask was cool, but it was too much work. You got to measure the apple cider vinegar, then you got to mix it. Then if you mix, mix too much, then it might dry up. It was too much drama, but I do recommend if you're willing to go through that stress, very minor stress, I'm just, I can be very lazy at times. I would recommend the bentonite clay. I just didn't feel like dealing with it. The other mask that I've used that's really good, which will be pictured as well, is the Kiko clay mask. I actually did a review on it a few months ago. I really like that mask and I recommend it for people who have sensitive skin and for people who have <clears throat> people who have dry skin. Um, and I recommend it for those two groups of people because it is detoxifying, but it's not super harsh. And the clay mask itself is extremely moisturizing. If you have oily skin, it's going to be too moisturizing and you might be having to, you know, do like this and shake off the excess oil. Um, it's just too moisturizing um, of a mask. And I know you're like, how can a mask be moisturizing? That's, that, was, that was just my experience. So I do recommend it for those, th those two groups. Another thing I like about Kiko is their products are extremely affordable. And that's with all of their makeup products. They could work on their color range, <laughs> okay? I'm gonna be doing a mini review on this mask. If you follow me on Snapchat, you've seen my mask selfies, my mask videos. This is what I use all the time. And also, I just wanna note, I want to make known that Auntie Jackie, also known as Jackie Aina, recommended this so you know it's good. Even if you don't believe what I say, even if you don't like me, you like Jackie Aina and she likes this. So try it out. This is the Pure Dirty Girl. It's a detoxifying mask and it has pascalite or pascalite clay. If you have sensitive skin, I do not recommend this because it's highly perfumed. 
if you have dry skin, it's a little too, not even a little too drying, it's very dry to the point where, let's say I have like a pimple or I have like a scar from a pimple, after I use the mask and I wipe it off, I see my skin like this, well, it's not vulgar, everyone gets scabs. I see the top, you know the top layer, that dry part of a scab when you like pop a pimple or something? I see that like floating in the sink. Or sometimes I'll like touch the area or something and then it'll just like flake off. But this, this right here will get you right. When you have a breakout, when you have a pimple, for me, um, I usually get pimples a few weeks, a few days before I start my menstrual cycle. So whenever I get pimples on my face, I'm like, okay, well, first of all, I know that it's that time of the month. And also I know that I need to pull this out. Now, I don't only use it when I have acne. I use this once a week. I absolutely do not recommend using this more than once a week. It's too drying. Even if you have oily skin, do not. Okay, if you don't listen to anything that I say, do not use this more than once a week. So I think this goes for $29. You can purchase this at Ulta. You can purchase this on Pure's website. It's $29, but you're gonna get your money's worth. I purchased this product, I wanna say in June or July. It's November and I'm pretty sure I have enough at least until December. So you're definitely gonna get your money's worth. I have been using the Pixie Nourishing Cleansing Balm. If you follow me on Snapchat or you watch my nighttime routine, basically I show you what I do. And the thing about cleansing balms is they're so convenient. To me, they're more convenient even than wipes. And they're convenient in that I just have to rub it on like I'm rubbing lotion and then wipe it off. And I believe that cleansing balms clean a lot deeper than wipes. I don't, I don't recommend clean, um, cleansing balms and cleansing oils for all skin types, specifically oily skin types. But, and the first time I used this, I was like, no, if you have oily skin, don't go there don't get it but i do recommend this cleansing balm if you have oily skin do not use this on your eyes y'all do not rub it into your eyes okay don't ask me how i know <laughs> just don't try to clean up your don't try to wash up your eye makeup with it please do not but that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this please do look out for more of my skin series posts this month i do have a lot of fun stuff planned for the rest of the year i cannot believe 2016 is almost over and it's like this year was just so freaking hellish in so many ways like if i'm being real with you guys the state of the world i keep hitting this thing and it's ruining the moment the state of the world is kind of disheartening but there's hope there is hope there is hope um but yeah 2016 was tough overall um let's not get into details by the time you guys watch this we will hear the united states have a newly elected president um if you follow me on twitter then you know what my political opinions are about this election if obama could be president until i give birth to the next generation that would be great but obviously we can't do that so anyway guys that's all i've got for you oh i cannot forget if you have not entered the giveaway you need to enter the giveaway so i'm giving away a book called eat pray hustle and that was a book i talked about in my video um the tw 21 things that i've learned in my 21st year although i have taken like a 10 week hiatus on the book i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna pretend i have taken a hiatus on the book because i'm busy but I do recommend this book because it puts things into perspective. I'm learning to change my perspective because I've been, I've spent my whole life building this dream life for myself. And like I said, and like I've mentioned before, my life is not anything like how, it ima like how I imagined it. So I kind of was like panicking and freaking out like, dang, Eric, you not do like you don't bang, even though like obviously that's not true. But this book has really helped me put a lot of stuff into perspective and figure out what my goals are, what I want to do in, with my life. So yeah, that's it for the like, like for real this time, y'all. Bye, like that ass. Bye.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Like diesel, I know you like it like diesel. You say you want magic. She want money, now my bikini she want cardi.